So the way I have to start is by saying that being bored has a bad reputation. Because when people say, I'm bored, they say it as if it's a bad thing, or if it's something to be avoided. But instead, as we just heard in this very short poem, being bored is actually your imagination calling to you. So I'm going to try to turn around this bad reputation of being bored today. We are going to explore ways to convert being bored into something very special, very powerful, and very essential for your learning and for your life. I'm going to lead you through this exploration with the help of a rock band from the 1980s, yes, an ancient Greek philosopher, and a French singer who was born 100 years ago. So sit up, be very quiet, listen, and think. So the Pet Shop Boys had a hit song called Being Boring. Being Boring. For me, the main point of their hit tune was what you see on the screen. We were never feeling bored because we were never being boring. I would never find myself feeling bored because we were never being boring. The point of this is only boring people can be bored and you're not boring. So the song says that it's important to find inspiration. This is the way that you avoid being bored. You find inspiration. When I was your age, there was no PBS summer camp for me. There were no inspiring PBS teachers for me. There was no Peninsula Youth Theater, no soccer teams, no iPads, no fifth grade math festival, no first grade reading celebration. All of these activities, no second grade feast either, I didn't have that. All these activities that keep you busy, activities that keep you from being bored. I grew up isolated on an Iowa farm with none of these things to do. So you could think that could mean that I was being bored all the time. But the fact is, I was never bored. Never bored because I was constantly finding inspirations everywhere around me. I rewrote tests from school to make them more difficult. I researched my family history 400 years back. I challenged myself on the piano with hours of practice. I read math textbooks and taught myself some algebra. My friends, I was not a nerd. I was just finding inspirations. To find your own inspirations, you can do it too. Convert being bored into something very powerful and essential for your learning and for your life. If you think or if you feel like you're being bored, then use that time to find inspirations. So now, Socrates. Over 2,000 years ago, Socrates, this ancient classical Greek philosopher, said this, the unexamined life is not worth living. The unexamined life is not worth living. Now, I am reading a biography about former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. The author did extensive research and interviews, Margaret Thatcher. And on the very first page, this biographer said this. He said that Margaret Thatcher lived an unexamined life, just the opposite of what Socrates said. She was a person of action, he says. There is no evidence that she ever stopped. She did not pause. She did not sit down to take time to reflect and examine and think about her own life. Now this biographer admires Margaret Thatcher for being a woman of action, but there's a problem. And the problem in his view is that she would have benefited by following Socrates' advice to live an examined life, to stop, 
so that you can reflect on your actions before you act. To pause, so that you can think before you speak. To put down what you are doing, those activities, all those things, so that you can actually think about what you want your life to be. My friends, it is your job not just to find inspirations. It is your job to examine your own life. To examine your life so that you can convert being bored into something very powerful and essential for your learning and for your life. So if you think you're being bored, or you feel like being bored is coming on, then just sit back and take the time to reflect and examine your life. Finally, Edith Piaf lived a very troubled and complicated life. She sings the following in French in her most successful song. No, nothing at all. No, I don't regret anything at all. Because my life, because my joys, today begin with you. We all do things that we regret. We say things we wish we didn't say. We do things that, in retrospect, we wish we didn't do. But you notice that the key to a life with no regrets, according to the singer, is that my life, my joys, begin with you. Our life together, our life in this imperfect, not perfect community, the good, the difficult, the times we make mistakes, the times we need to ask for forgiveness, this not perfect community is the best way to have a life with no regrets. And the pet shop boys said this. They said that you can always rely on a friend. My friends, it's your job. It's your job to be a positive member of this beautiful and not so perfect community. No regrets. If you think you're being bored, then take your time to commit to your friends so that they can always rely on you. They can rely on you with no regrets. So to conclude with the Pet Shop Boys, Socrates, Edith Piaf, here's what I'd like to say. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of maturity to embrace being bored. It takes a lot of maturity to convert being bored, to go from saying I'm bored, and to convert that into something powerful and essential for your learning and for your life. But here's what you can do. Look at the pie on the screen. You can find your own inspirations so that you sit in the driver's seat for your education. You can examine your life so that you can actually take time to reflect before you act. And you can live a life of no regrets, a life where your friends can always rely on you in this community. And here's what I know. You can do this. You are certainly not boring. And you have plenty of things to make sure that you're never bored. So if you think you feel being bored coming on, a little instance of being bored, then find inspirations, examine your life, and live in this community with no regrets. Thank you for listening. <laughs>